course, the thing you get a lot when you when you've picked up an on-prem solution, you go right. I'm going to uh, uh, move this thing that's been around for 20 years sitting in our data centers, and I'm going to install the software in Amazon Web Services in this instance, or it could be in Azure or other cloud vendors are uh, uh, available. But yes, we want Amazon Web Services. Um, so one of the typical challenges, if you like, to a design is there people saying, well, hang on a minute. Oh dear, what's this? We're going to the cloud. Uh, 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 uh. Is this safe? So we've got a hundred customers. So we've effectively got a hundred IT departments going, what, what are you doing? Moving to the cloud, that sounds dangerous. Uh, um, um, so obviously we've got to, to design in the right amount of security controls. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you the inner workings of the security on our platform. I've 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 shown you the things we've done here, which are kind of standard out of the book ops view or deployment things that you would do. So um, if you imagine here, um, each one of these, so we've got 100 customers, here's, here's two of them in one region. So we've built an AWS platform across two AZs, availability zones, that is in Amazon Web Services. We've So therefore, we've got orchestrators in pairs. I'm not demonstrating the resilience here, but of course, they're in pairs. Um, we are using SSH, so a standard way of creating a three-tiered architecture to provide a security level, particularly when you're dealing with multiple clients coming into uh, 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 from different data centers. Uh, uh, um, you, you use the SSH proxy service, which I'm sure some of you are familiar with. Um, and then you've got those collector layer. Now, as I was saying earlier on in my presentation, simplification. So we had tools monitoring networks. We had tools monitoring servers. We had a lot of intermediary servers on the ground to deal with all of that from the legacy tools. So one of the simplification was we got rid of all the servers across those two different tools, to, which had collected over the years with a lot of what called junk, if you like, a lot of a lot of uh, pieces of software installed on various types of infrastructure, Windows infrastructure, as well as Unix infrastructure, uh, uh, dealing with all the endpoints being monitored. So OpsView allowed us to uh, 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 simplify by just one type of intermediary server called collectors, as you're probably aware. And typically, you'd install three collectors, uh, um, and then you scale up horizontally, as I said, uh, uh, depending on the amount of endpoints you need to monitor and a few other metrics in there for calculating how many collectors you need. Um, so each customer has their own collectors, their side of the firewall. Um, there's conversations sometimes around shared collectors. You might have a number of clients. Can they all share? Could they share collectors, uh, which, which they could do? You could place uh, collectors in, in, in a shared zone, if you like, and have a number of collectors. If they were small clients, if they had small numbers of monitoring endpoints, but you do, uh, security don't like it, let's put it, let's put it that way. We're talking security here. So, so the best way for security purposes is to give everyone their own collectors inside their environment. And then you're operating across just one port. Uh, security would like you to have no ports open, of course. That's the most secure way. And then everyone's happy. But the trouble with that, of course, is that how would we get those monitoring alerts and information out of the environment? So we've got to do it somehow. Uh, uh, so we've got to uh, we use SSH uh, uh, across a VPN, I should say, not out over the internet, everybody. Um, and then how are we securing the platform um, from a user perspective? Um, now, support teams have their own ways of getting to infrastructure through SAM and so forth. They don't uh, uh, they don't use the OpsU platform. This is just showing the OpsU platform. Um, but your support teams there who look after all the alerts, who deal with incidents, um, 
incidents themselves are on in service now, as you won't be surprised to hear, there's a service now implementation at the back of this. Uh, um, but support teams also need to interact with OpsView directly. And we keep them separate, each account um, can have their own support team who deal with that account and no other accounts. And we use uh, group and roles um, um, and, and ensure separation of data and of personnel between uh, um, each, each of the application accounts. Um, with the cloud platform, it's just like any other platform that you build, you need to pen test. So we say pen test to exactly the same level that we would if it was an on-prem service. Uh, um, ensure that data is encrypted in transportation, ensure we use uh, 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 private and public keys when SSH and not uh, 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 um, not passwords. Um, Ops view uses passwordless service accounts, as you may know. So that's another layer of uh, of, of security there, and um, and MFA protection on management consoles. So just to give you a little flavour, I can't really. I can't really explain the inner architecting of a, a large platform like this in, in 20 minutes, which I'm looking at my watch thinking we're just about there. Uh, um, um, but I hopefully I've given you a little flavor of, of what we've built, which incidentally, if I didn't say, it is live, hooray, yippee. That's my sad attempt at introducing some graphics to this one here clapping dancing but yes we are live we did manage to do this we haven't finished the journey but we're alive and we have at least half our clients now on the platform so yes it's working it's secure um, our customers have been happy with the level of security we've placed on the platform and the only people who are unhappy are our poor old legacy vendors that we've managed to say goodbye to or well we still haven't actually turned off their platforms yet, but we will do. We will do. 